I, I watch people all the time that they leave their job because they didn't do very well, so they go from job A to job B. And if it's over leadership, can I tell you something? You're not going to get any better at B than you were at A. People change companies. So, well, I just need to change companies. I, look, let me explain something to you. Your leadership led, whether you're in Europe or America or Asia or Africa or Latin America, is a lid. And that lid, not where you are, not what you do, will determine how successful you're going to be, period. So if I wanted to build a business, if I wanted to grow an organization, if I understand this lid right, do you know what happens in my life? I immediately get a passion to learn how to lead better because leading better means I'll grow my company. Because watch this, if I'm a five as a leader, my business is a four. But here's the good news, I can grow as a leader, I can learn, we know that. I know that, I've got the largest leadership company in the world, I've trained six million leaders in every country in the world, I got, I, got, I got this thing figured out. So if I'm a five as a leader, I start growing and learning. I become a six, I become a seven. You see, every time I lift my leadership lid, what now happens to the potential of my business? It doesn't have a lid over it. It can grow from a four to a five to a six to a seven. So when people come to me and they say, John, how do I grow my company? Oh, that's simple, grow your leadership. If you really wanna grow your company, grow your leaders. The more leaders that you grow and the more leaders you develop, the better you are. The most successful airline in the world today is Delta Airlines. That was not true 15 years ago. 15 years ago, Delta filed chapter 11 and almost went under. In fact, the day that it was public that they filed chapter 11, the president of Delta Airlines called me up on the phone. Say, can I have some time with you? And I said, sure. We went out and had a three hour lunch. And the basic question was, John, our company has filed chapter 11 today. We're going under. We have problems. If you were the president of the country, if you were me, what would you do to turn this around? Now you understand the greatness of leadership is the ability to turn something around. So the, if you really wanted to find out how great of a leader you are or someone else, find uh, something that's going south, it's going down, and find a person that can stop the going down, level it out, and turn it around. I call it a U-turn leader, a U-turn leader. Whenever you can stop something that's falling, level it out, and turn it around and take it back up, you are now an outstanding leader. So he's from Delta Airlines, Ed Bastian, who now is the CEO of Delta. Ed looks at me and says, John, what would you do to get Delta out of its problems? I, I said, well, let's talk about it, Ed. I said, you do a good job flying planes. You haven't had any accidents for quite a few years. You don't have a plane problem. Your planes fly in the air, they land safe. You don't have a plane problem. You have a leadership culture problem. I said, your people, your people do not understand leadership and your people do not understand It's okay. Hey, hello. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what, what, what I loved about that is you left and it worked. <laughs> Soon as you left that console and came toward me, it just worked. Now that tells us something, doesn't it? Every time it gets bad, run. <laughs> and it'll just get worked. Okay, now, so here we are. So I said, let me explain to you what I mean. I fly on Delta Airlines. And when I get on the airlines, they have a little announcement as we push back from the gate. And the announcement's something like this. The flight attendants are here for your safety. Now they wanna make sure that the flight attendants are on the plane for my safety. I said, now, Ed, that's a nice thing. But let me be honest with you. I've flown several million miles on planes and I haven't had any of them crash yet. So those people that are on there for my safety haven't been needed. 
haven't one time said, we're going down, hold my hand. <laughs> I said, here's a thought. Since the planes don't usually crash, why don't you get the flight attendant something to do besides being there for my safety? Like, be nice to me. <laughs> Smile. Serve me well. Treat me like I'm the most important person in the world. Be accommodating. Care. Love. Serve. I said, your flight attendants don't do that. They like that safety deal because that's an out. They don't have to be nice. They don't have to serve. I'm here for your safety. If we ever wreck, I'm here. No, you're, not. you're going to die with me. You're not going to help me at all. <laughs> well, he said, what would you do? I said, I'd bring every flight attendant in Delta Airlines around the world. And I'd bring them in small groups and I would teach them people skills, relationship skills, how to take care of people, how to serve people. And I would tell those flight attendants, unless the plane goes down, be nice. <laughs> they brought me in front of the top 3,300 leaders of Delta Airlines for a day. I taught them leadership and a leadership culture. And they did exactly what I said. They started bringing in these flight attendants. They, hey, for three years, they just, they went to the mechanics, they went to the pilots. They began to teach them how to care for people, put people first, be nice to people. Hey, keep your skills, keep your skills. I don't want the pilot, hey, I don't want the pilot while we're flying to some destination, walking around, shaking everybody's hand. <laughs> Sitting down. No, no, I want the pilot to pilot. But, 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 but understand, so you don't dumb down your skill level, but you increase your leadership relationship level. Now, when the company came out of chapter 11, they brought me back. I spoke again to all those, and they just clapped and cheered. We had a big party. But now let me explain something to you. Delta Airlines was failing, not because it didn't have good planes. Delta Airlines was failing because it was not good at leadership. And let me tell you something, if you're failing, it's a leadership fail. The good news is you don't have to look very far. It is always a leadership problem. People, companies, organizations do bad when they've got bad leadership. They do good when they have good leadership, end of story. So you want your company to grow, become a better leader. You want your company to really grow, train the leaders and develop the people that are around you. That's how you develop it. That is a, that is, that's the law of the lid.